guys, how many want to go with me into the new year with a new mindset, a new wineskin? But first, we have to set the wood in order. You know, Elisha, before he defeated the prophets of Baal, the Bible says he set the wood in order. So we want to have things in order. How does that take place? Sometimes you have to call a consecration. <clears throat> In the book of Joel, it said consecrate a fast. Now the fast isn't always food. It could be things that you sow time into or put time into. That's not a sin to watch a football game. But if it's consuming you or if you feel the Lord separating you, then that's not in a sense going to help you spiritually. So we're going to consecrate ourselves in a fresh way. 21 days of consecration. We started in the new year. Hallelujah. Daniel of old, 21 days took him to break through. The king of Persia withstood him. Listen, there's some things the Lord can do for you. But then there's some he will do with you. The Lord working with them, confirming many signs and wonders. This isn't pie in the sky, cotton candy Christianity, where God does everything for us. There's some things we have to contend for, take authority. If we want to go higher and further and just get closer to the Lord, we have to abstain. And that's what consecrating is. It's to set yourself apart so you could be sanctified. Now, starting Monday, and hallelujah, that would be January 3rd, 9 p.m. East Coast on the live stream. Together, someone say together, we're going to consecrate ourselves, separate ourselves unto the Lord as a group. We're going to pray over you that there would be a mantle of consecration and anointing of a consecration for you to separate yourself. Doesn't mean you don't work, don't go to school, don't go to coffee shop. You don't have responsibilities. Does, don't work for the Lord. Don't have works for the Lord. But we're going to abstain from certain things that isn't the best it's permissible but it's not perfect there's the per permissible will of god and the perfect will of god now we're not getting religious and crazy no one's a monk no one's a nun we're not going to walk on glass and strive and be driven but we're going to separate ourselves consecrate ourselves starting tomorrow as a group 9 p.m live stream youtube may have a guest on i'm praying about it <clears throat> We're going to pray over you in the chat and everyone individually, even if you, everyone collectively, if you're not in the chat for 21 days of consecration for breakthrough. You know, there's some storms the Lord rebukes. There's some we got to ride out. And I said it. God's not going to do everything. Of course, it's a finished work. The cross, I know the mindset, the whole message. I'm just saying there's some things we got to do to position ourselves to catch a fresh impartation, to get closer to Jesus. What better time than at the beginning of the year to separate, sanctify, and consecrate ourselves? Bible says if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. We don't touch the unclean thing. We're going to come out from among them and be ye separate. See you Monday, 9 p.m. I love you. Blessings.